Hey folks, I wish it wasn't so glary, but uh, it is what it is. This is a short video about IKEA Furtur or Fire Tour, F Y R T U R, smart blinds and home assistant. <coughs> Just a quick overview of these things. Look, they totally work fine. Uh, here is a little button I fitted, and you can see them going down. I can stop that and I can press open and they're going to go back up. But this is more about Home Assistant. So I'll give you the basics of the blinds first. Uh, they're very easy to install. Uh, they just have these little clips here which are on a spring. Um, so I can show you that. So you push this little spring in, they basically clip off. So they're very easy to install, never mind the fact I haven't patched the roof. There's only one downside to these. And that is you cannot adjust uh, in the blind the highest position. You can only adjust the lowest position. So the problem with that is if you're like me, uh, sorry, this is the camera's trying to adjust for the really weird lighting conditions here. I have a, I'm using these as a blackout blind for a home theater room. You can see the projector up there. Basically, when they were mounted up there, the problem is that up, in these lines is quite uh it pushes out you see so it pushes out beyond the body of the blind and you can see that if i get you a little bit of a look there and the problem with that is i couldn't mount them up because as it pulled up it jammed into the blind and pushed literally unclipped the blind and the whole thing went flying <laughs> so <clears throat> that's a slight annoyance however i believe you can use Home Assistant uh, to set that. So what you could do is control the maximum height. Now let me explain something. These are a Zigbee blind, but also the controller is a separate Zigbee device. It is just a button in Home Assistant, in ZHA, that has up and down, that's it. So you, can, you could say double press does something, hold press does something, you can do whatever you want with that button. You can even control something else with that button. You can control the blinds and the lights with that button. You can control the blinds with the lights and your Logitech Harmony to turn the projector on with that button. The point being, it's way more flexible than you think. When you look at the IKEA documentation, it appears that they're all bonded, you know, bonded together. They're not. They're just Zigbee devices. Okay, so here we are in... Uh Home Assistant in the developer tools states and you can see when I search for blind I've got a bunch of automations but you can see these um, new blinds actually have the current position and target position set I'm not sure why that one set to 73 that's weird um, but because the position is tracked it means that you can change your automation um, so if I go to my automations, but I can change this and say um, theater blind button close, I can edit that and I can action cover close, but I can also set the uh, position, yeah, cover set position, right, theater blinds, and I can set the position to be zero. I'm actually on the wrong one. Oh no, uh, yeah, now it should be open actually. Leave theater blinds button open. Yep, so basically what we do here is we set the position. And we could set that to say 85. There you go. Pretty simple. I forgot to add uh, some context. You look at those theater blinds and you're like, well, how come it's blinds and there's actually two entities? Of course, there are two entities. There's blind one and blind two. Now, the home assistant thing, it's a helper. So you go into home assistant and I've got a helper called theater blinds. And if I show settings... Um, and it's group options that shows you where the actual entities are. So you can see options, members, theatre blind one cover, theatre blind two cover. Um, obviously, those devices are actually IKEA Fire Terror, um, 
if I go to integrations and look at Zigbee, if I look at Theatre Blind, IKEA of Sweden, Fireter, Blockart Roller Blind. Um, yeah, and they, they obviously have that, uh, you know, name by default. So obviously I want to rename the entity. Okay, so I'm in here. I've got the, when you press the button, raise it to 75% at the moment. So let's do it. There you go, works fine. So the only trick is gonna be, you have to make sure that nobody ever presses one of the little buttons on the blind, which are on that left thing there. If anybody ever presses those, it's gonna to go to 100%. And if your mounting means it's gonna basically jam up and fling the thing off the wall, well, that's kind of on you. And here's one more benefit of these. They come with two of the IKEA Trad Free, uh, Zigbee repeaters and these can be bound to home assistant and these are like I think they're like 25 bucks each or something I can't remember I bought a couple of these because they are the best repeaters to use um, so right now I'm not in use but if I wanted to add more repeaters I can just bond these to my Zigbee controller and away we go